Today we're going to talk about a bicycle light. I had a request in one of my other videos, can you do a review on one of these bicycle lights? They saw it on my bike, I thought it was pretty good, I imagine. So I thought, yeah, I'll talk about it. This particular light I got from a Chinese website and it's really, really good light. They also, I had a previous model which was a red, a red and black one, but they discontinued that and that was extremely reliable. The only problem I had was the little plastic thing here, if you can see. With age, over about four years, it cracked down here. With this light, you buy, it's around about $25 US, but you need to also buy a battery pack with it. The battery packs come in a pack like this with a material, so it's got Velcro on it, so you can fit it around your top tube if you want, or your, your gooseneck on your bike. You also need to buy a charger, and when you buy the charger on the site, they, they know which country they're sending it to, so they put the right charger in there for you. The reason why I really like these, these lights is the, the battery packs last, I don't know how long they last, I've never run it flat, probably about four or five hours you can ride with the light on medium and it, it, it's, it's pretty bright on medium. So you can ride at night and you can ride, like go for a like 100k ride and your light's not going to fail on you. A lot of the lights I've had previously, especially the ones that I've bought in shops, they only get about two hours if you want to run them on, on bright, sometimes even less. So they're just no good for me. This light, it's rated at 3000 lumens. I don't generally put it on 3000 lumens. I have it on the medium setting and I get really good run time out of it and it's still really bright. Like you can ride along in the pitch black darkness and you can see where you're going. This specific model, also has, if you look closely, if I can bring that right up close to the camera, it actually has a ring around here on both sides. You can actually have that flashing or still. So if you're riding in the daylight, you can have the main light on flashing and you can have the outside light on continuous so you have this continuous ring around the light with the light flashing or you can have the opposite where you can have it at night time with the light on constant and you can have the outside of the light flashing so you're getting the best of both which you can have the flashing of the light that attracts people's attention plus you can have the light so it's seen and what I really like about it as well is at night people put their lights on flashing and I find when I'm coming in the opposite direction really it, 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 my eyes can't adjust to it because it's flashing on and off, but when you have lights that pulse, or they're on and they pulse, or they've got a flashing with a light that's on, I find my eyes can adjust to that better. So I believe that that's a safer option when on cycle paths and you've got cyclists coming in the opposite direction. The light comes with three settings on the main light, so there's a low, medium and high, and if you hold the button in it flashes, and the outsides have a constant and a flash. So that's the light. These lights are available from the light box. I'll put a link down below so you can have a look. On the websites, they have lots and lots of lights. I've bought a few different products from them and they're pretty good. If there's any products you'd like me to review, just leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and leave a like, and I'll see you next vid.